What's going on guys, Skip here and welcome back to another episode here in our Road to Glory series. Today we are at the Buxton Sports Club taking on Buxton in our first three-day season match. We have had a relatively good start to our career both in the T20 format and the one-day format so it will be interesting to see how we go today in the longer form of the game. Before we get there though, if you do enjoy your Cricket 22 content, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a little comment, I promise you will make a ton in your next innings. We do stream four days a week over on Twitch. I'll leave all my links in the description below. So make sure you come over and say g'day and let's continue to put Cricket back on the map. So here we are at the BSC taking on Buxton in our first Red Bull game of our career and for the season. We have been kept at four, which is interesting. We did bat at three in the 2020. It's uh, coming in second drop. We still will have plenty of time to put a score on the board. Toss goes up. We do call tails. Tails never, ever fails. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. We do win the toss. On a hard, dry one. I would like to think that we're going to go in for a bat. Classic Nottingham skipper. He has chosen to bowl. So here we have it, Pijma Pan into the game early. We didn't get the new ball. We have had to wait eight overs, but Buxton do sit at 27 for two. Don't mind the field that we have first ball, so we're going to steam in. And he's dragged, oh, wow, what a start to our three-day career. Things you love to see, the drag on. I'm not too sure how he's holding his bat there, but we will take it. Middle pole cartwheeling out of the ground. That has taken me by surprise. And Ian Green, you are on your bike for 11, son. So we're coming from the back of Pijma. It was just a gentle outswing at a start, proceedings. And big Ian's eyes have lit up. Extra cover look nice. Finding the inside edge. And dragging it straight on to middle stump. So we welcome Cole Owen to the crease. Weak skill is the drive. Waiting. And we get him on the front foot, pushing it nicely to short cover. What a start for Pishma. We will continue to bowl on a good length to this bloke. We need to test the outside edge early. Punching nicely through cover for a couple. We don't mind that to start proceedings here in our first red ball match. So a wicket, dot, and a boundary with our first three balls. Probably a little too straight there. Nice one to mid-wicket. Well, our first over was a success. We'll see what we can do here. Early in our second over. He's edging two bounces into third. Man, the length for Hendon is just too much here. We do concede another boundary. So I have put a third man in just to save that uh, edge. We'll stay to our line. There we go, Hendon automatically getting forward and leaving that alone. Interesting start after that first ball. It has been pretty 50-50. We'll continue to nag outside that off stump. Let's see what he can do. He wants to leave it. That's okay. As long as I'm not straying onto his hips, I think Pijma's in good hands here. I've said it every other episode, and I'll continue to say it again. The height difference is just beautiful. We're playing the in-swing, out-swing game. We've just got to find that fourth stump line. It is going to take a little bit of time. We do lose stamina really, really quick in this game. You can see half the tank's already gone. So we've got to stay with our bag of tricks. See if we can find a second. He's across and safely into mid-wicket. can really change up our length. Go in with the good stuff and he's forward pushing out to cover. I don't mind that. Because I do feel like we will find an edge. Get it nice and full. Swinging away now. Find his toes. And he's playing the missing nicely. 47 for three, Buxton. Hendon still on strike. He's tucking that one nicely down the fine leg. And he should find the boundary rope. It is four. Well, a bit of a surprise. We are coming in for a fifth over. I was... A little worried that we would have ended our spell there purely for stamina reasons. He's a big boy bowling fast balls and maybe the fifth is, is one too many. We'll see how we go here. It's just going to have to take heart. 
How's that? How's that? He's begging. What's the umpire saying? He's saying not out. Let's have a look at the big eye. See how much extra bounce Big Pijama is getting. Pitching in line, it is missing another set of stumps. It was a correct call by the umpire. Not going over though. Not going over. Stay with this one. He's back and playing and missing again. Let's go for three out of three this time. Hopefully we find it. Touch two straight and we get pumped through square leg for probably another boundary, yes. But we did wonder if five overs was too much. We're going to finish with a leg cutter. To which Owen is forward and defending nicely. And that needs to be the end of our spell. We are absolutely cooked. We were not required for a second spell. And you can see why. Buxton absolutely losing the plot. Getting bowled out for 89 just before lunch on day one. So it has put us in a good position to hopefully make some runs. Chase them pretty early. And then uh, go in and knock them all out. Here comes a big fella, Pishma Pant, in at six for two. So it is game on. A little bit of pressure from Buxton. Short leg in, fine leg. We're forward and defending nicely. You would think that it is a long way down for Pishma, so the toes would be the bowler's ideal spot. Yep. Bowl short, and we tickle that down to fine leg to get off the mark in our red ball debut. Trail by 81, last ball of the third over. Yeah, nicely on the front foot and no run there. So we finally get to lunch on day one. We are eight runs for two wickets after four overs. It has been an even day so far. Very bowler friendly. As we get a nice length ball and we're punching that down the ground and that's a boundary to Pishma. The things you love to see to start an innings. I mean, we do get ourselves into different mindsets here. Do we put the foot down and try and chase the runs early? Or do we take a more conservative approach and uh, be a little bit more cautious, wait for the bowlers to fatigue and then start to put the foot down? I seem to uh, agree with the attack mode as he's going to give us some short stuff and we're punching that to gully. Well, he is going to bowl his fair share of garbage. Take a single to point. That's lazy fielding from Buxton. That's a real coach killer, that. I swear we're going to run five with Pishma in the not-so-distant future. Ball is in short and wide, and for whatever reason, we're trying to backfoot drive that. 6.3 overs bowled. We are struggling a little bit. Nine off 17. Still just need to find our timing. That's wide and full, and we have found it through the square, uh, square cover region. That is a beautiful shot. Powell just straying outside off and Pishma all over that. That's glorious. 22 for two. We do have a moment for Richie. Pishma in. Leaving that nicely. Richie would be proud. So Jesse Holder into the attack. We've got a little bit of spin now. I do need to step back in my crease so I don't get stumped. He comes around the wicket. We're punching that through cover. Hopefully pick up a couple here. Get back, get back. He's home. Backward square in, so no sweep or scoop. Short leg. We're cutting nicely through backward point. Go ball, go ball. The ball wins, and that's another boundary as Pishma moves to 19 off 22. Got mid on a mid wicket where I can pick up easy ones. Extra cover is always tempting. We'll keep it nice and straight. Just going to get a feel for this guy. 28 for two. No need to panic. No need to do anything silly. Just accumulate these uh, red ball runs. And the rest will look after itself, really. With shots like that, it's not going to happen. So we trail by 60. It's been a bit of a slog, the first 10 overs here. But we do survive. We get the short one and we punch that forward of square. And that gets to the boundary in no time. You can't bowl there to a bloke that stands over two meters tall. That's just garbage. Another two for 22 moment for Richie. And Richie would not be proud of that. Hold her in. Yep. 
punching nicely through cover. Just needed to wait a little bit longer for that to get the timing right, and it gets to the boundary. And I think that's boundary number three for Pishma. We are really starting to fire now. Out, cow corner goes out. Square leg and backward square go in. Does he go a little straighter? He doesn't. And he offers up another juicy half volley to which we say, thank you very much. Give me four more. Older persisting with no extra cover. He need, really does need to bowl to his field. Yep. Again, we don't time that one as well, but it is a fast outfield here and it beats the fielder to the fence. We trail by 38 now. Backward square and mid wicket in. Step across and sweep to mid on. Couple of interesting uh, shots this innings. Oh, yeah. And we've edged it. Oh, Pishma's gone back onto that size 15 foot and he has edged the leg spinner caught behind. Well, would you read about it? We have thrown this one away. Pishma walking off for 35 off 40, seven boundaries, and it is four for 51. Well, as you can see here, it was a late decision to go back, and he's just guided that one into the keeper's hands. Well, there we have it. Nottingham all out for 133, which is a little bit disappointing. We did knock Buxton over for 89 in their first innings and we weren't able to capitalize. Pishma Pant really throwing his wicket away for 35 and now we have a game on our hands. Well, we come in at 17 for one. Small lead. Again, first ball. We come in in the fifth over now. And Ian Green is just leaving that one outside the off stump. Well, we have gone to full out swingers early. For that exact reason, one bounce edge to third man. I really should be putting a gully in there. So a slight change to the field. Third man goes in and mid on goes to square leg. Yep. Another edge down to third man. Well, we start need to start plugging that hole. It's as simple as that. It'd be nice to scare him with the in-swinging Yorker. He won't be expecting this. He's not, and he's edging it to third slip. All right. I'm going to see if we can get green to drive here. That's the line and length that we need to him. He will come unstuck. So we have made it to day two. We are bowling the second over of the day. We are driven nicely to cover. Will be an interesting day. Buxton still needs 13. And we have an opportunity to really fill our pockets with a few wickets here. After a disappointing stint with the bat. It's a really nice shot. If we can nab a wicket before they pass our total, that would be very handy. He edges, and he edges through point this time for four. Well, I can't... I couldn't catch COVID if I tried. Let alone catch a break in this game. He's on the back foot, absolutely doing his dax. That's gone through the vacant point region for four. The Bucks and lead by nine. And that has gone a long way. Pass the keeper's gloves and four buys. Well, we come in for our second spell. We have bowled six overs, one made and none for 16. And at this stage, Buxton are 221 for eight off 59 overs. They do have quite a considerable lead. We have very leg side to Cali there and he tucks it off his legs for a single down to fine leg. He wants to run two, backhand flick and he is home safe. Just need one of them to take off. Good control. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. Maybe if we just drag our length back a touch. Hey, that's the one. In again. Pulling to mid-wicket. Not convincing. Gives us a little bit of hope. Let's see if we can clean this tail up here. Well, we didn't clean up the tail for the Buxton innings. We have been sent in at 97 for two. So we need 100 runs to win. 
The boys has got the boys have got us off to a fairly good start. Jackson Gregory on sixty two, not out. We do enter at four forty eight on day two, so a hundred runs to get. First ball in, forward and defending nicely. After twenty eight overs, and this moment here could be the real making of Pishma Pant. It's not easy to come in and start against spin, but again, we're stuck in one of these positions where do we go for it or do we take our time? I'm going to try and kill Silly Point. And I'm also going to plug one to the boundary for four. That's a fantastic start. Well, we're not going to hold back here. It's as simple as that. We've got less than 100 to get. We're going to put our foot down and try and get the runs as quick as we can. Yep. Again, Holder tossing them outside off. It worked for him last innings. It, it really did. We succumbed to the cut shot, getting caught behind, and... Get home safe for three there. We can get a chance to reverse sweep. I mean, we should just do it. There it is. We do. We reverse sweep. Don't get all of it. We do get a single out to cover. 110 for two. Older coming back over the wicket. Once again, we can sweep into the back, the vacant backward area. We do, and we beat short fine. And this is going to be a strength for Pisma early in his career. We can sweep as many balls off spinners as possible. Give us that confidence to then hopefully be able to clear the boundary in the not-so-distant future. So hold it back in. Both mid-on and mid-off are out. It's looking tempting to go over his head here. We do. Do we clear the fielder? We don't. And we have hold out to mid-off. That is extremely disappointing. I did not get all of that, and that certainly did not go as straight as I wanted it to. Oh, Pijma, what you done, lad? He puts it down the throat of the fielder and unfortunately ends his innings early. We score 11 off 11, and we do not become the hero for our first three-day match. In fact, we get done by 19 runs in the end. That is one of the biggest choke jobs you will ever see in a club cricket match looking a little like australia and england in the last uh, ashes test over on english soil and the aussies knocked the palms over for less than 100 in that first innings and lost the match disappointing i mean 35 in the first dig wasn't too bad it was promising we took a wicket with our first ball in the first innings but Maybe the fatigue after day two, day three, getting to the young fella and Nottingham not able to get the job done. Well, we're going to leave it there for episode number three today. No doubt disappointing, but I'm sure we will take plenty from it and be better for next time. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a little comment down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.